Hi, my name is Wes Arnett. I'm with the Schneider Ambassador Team. Today, we're here to talk about some common rookie mistakes and tips on how to avoid those. And my name is Sean Moden with the Driver Ambassador Team, and I'll be assisting Wes. All right, the first subject we'll be talking to you about today is entering and exiting vehicles. You want to make sure you're taking your time. Loose clothing can get snagged on your trailer, and you can find yourself taking a dive. Slow maneuvering in the yard when you're backing is another area you want to make sure I take our time on. When you're backing, make sure you get out and look. If you're not feeling safe enough, you think you're going to hit something, take your time, get out and look, ignore the screams, ignore the hucks. Wes, let's talk about trip planning. Use the trip plan app as a tool. It's not a crush, it's a tool. It will give the information to let you know how long it should take to get to that location, how long it should take at that location, and then also get that map out. See where you're going to take your break. We give suggestions from the trip planning app, but don't rush in to just decide that's where it's going to go. Let's research the area you're going to because you, the last thing you want to do is wait to the last second to find some place to take a break, and then you're out of hours. Another area that rookie drivers make a lot of their mistakes is not following road signs. A truck driver, so many signs apply just to us, we have to read every sign. Worst case scenario, you go into a turn and you cannot turn around and get out. And then you have to stop, hold up traffic, call law enforcement to come and get you out. So as we say, make sure you're watching, no trucks allowed, low clearance, and all these things that goes on when it comes to being a truck driver. Organizational skills is one of the most important things that a truck driver can have. And given that Wes is one of the most organized guys I know, I'll let him talk to you about being organized. One of the points of Schneider Smart is make your space safe. One of the best ways to stay organized is keep your trash off the floor, invest in storage bins, keeping your dashboard clear, making sure all heavy items are strapped or bind in so, you, so they won't be flying around as you're driving up and down the highway. Keep your paperwork organized so you don't have to search for it when you get to a shipper, or worse yet, when you have to search for it to resend it. Organization helps keep you safe and makes your trip more successful. Hey, I'm Tony Neal, one of the ambassadors, and I got a few tips for you as well. If you're gonna do your pre-trip, take your time. There's no reason to rush a pre-trip. Go through and figure out what's wrong with your truck. If you take an extra five minutes to do a pre-trip, you will save yourself hours of time being stuck beside the road because your tire blew out because you did not do a good pre-trip. Always do your pre-trip, take your time, and you'll be doing just fine. So another great thing to do is to worry about the most important thing about your job, and that is you. You are your business. If you don't take care of yourself, your business is not gonna do well. If you're sick and you can't work, you're not gonna be able to make money. So what you need to focus on is take care of yourself and have a healthy lifestyle. Stop eating at the truck stop. You can't eat at the truck stop all day long. Eat healthy food. I prepare food at home, which helps out immensely. Not only does it help me financially, but it also helps me live a better life and be more healthy in how I live from day to day. So today we've heard some great things from Sean and Wes all about what you can do to make yourself a better truck driver. So take these tips and learn. And maybe I'll see you on the highway.